Jeff Katz, News Radio 1140 WRVA. It all started with a coin toss. Well, all right, it all started with a vision from Greg Fornario, but we put into action with this amazing coin toss of the very first ever Richmond Rough Riders game, and we have been undefeated ever since. Greg, thanks for being here, man. Hey, Jeff. You know, it's always a pleasure. Let's talk about this undefeated record. We are 2-0, and and i got to tell you something. We are looking amazing, very impressive out there on the field. Hey, you know, Jeff, we uh, just came back from St. Louis, and uh, it was definitely a tight game out there. And, uh, you know, hats off to them. They, they played a really great game, and, but we pulled it off. I mean, we really have some great athletes on both sides of the field, and uh, we feel very confident in what we can do this season. All right, let's talk about uh, the first game. It was an absolute blowout at the uh, the Richmond Coliseum. You know, um, you know, there's 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 a few teams that are going to be like that, in, you know, in the league, and then there's a few teams that are going to be on you know on top of the league. It's, it's, I'm just hoping that we're, you know, on the you know on the upper end yeah. of those scores <laughs> and the lower end. All right, let's so talk. What happens in yeah in arena football and all levels of it? You see that there's major blowouts and then yep. some great games, and you know you just want to be the team that's not getting blown out. Yeah, no question. Now our quarterback, very very impressive. Uh, tell everybody exactly where this kid comes from, and 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 what do we expect from him? Man, you know, like I said, he he's everything we we thought he would be. I mean, if, if you look at some of the. Uh, um, the video and replay of, of last week's game against St. Louis, some of the throws he made were just <laughs> amazing. Even the visiting crowd was like, oh, my God, this kid has a cannon. Wow. So, I mean, it was – it was. he's definitely getting the uh, recognition that he deserves. He's from UC Davis, and, uh, you know, he's a California boy. And yeah. He's definitely uh, – Definitely a really a big asset for uh, the Richmond Rough Riders. And I'll tell you who else is a great, great asset for the Richmond Rough Riders. Number five, Mr. Jones. Wow. Yeah, you heard Jones is definitely uh, uh, a great wide receiver. I mean, he got the, the height, the speed. Um, he knows how to run routes. And uh, he's very hard to handle out there. So, uh, you know, he's and – then, and then we compliment him – with speedy wide receivers like Daniel Lee and Justin Burke and Jonathan Fisher. So it's, you know, <laughs> we're definitely a very hard team to defend. And then our running back, Daniel Barnes, I mean, he had four TDs last week. It's just he finds the holes and boom. So we're, we're pretty solid right now, and, uh, you know, we're scoring the points. And then uh, our defense, on the other hand, is, 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 is great all around, too. And, you know, our offensive line, I mean, hey, I mean, if you, like I said, when you watch the game, you'll see our offensive linemen – Slash tight end, James Carter Sr., he had about 87 yards receiving. The Jeez. guy just ran up and down the field, just motoring over everybody. So yeah. we definitely, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we, we, we definitely have a nice little package here. So we're, we're very excited. All right, so let's talk uh, not in the past, although I should mention again, we are 2-0. and Very, very impressive performances. Uh, what's happening this Saturday at the Coliseum? Okay, so we're back home. Right. 7 o'clock. Doors open at 6. We're looking to go three and zero. We're playing against a team called the Savannah Coastal Outlaws, mm-hmm. another outlaw team, and they're from Georgia. And uh, uh, we don't know too much about them. We know they only played one game so far. They're zero one, okay. and uh, so hoping uh, we have no problems with them. But um, also, we're doing a special halftime performance by a country artist by the name of Sam Grow. Okay, he has a hit. He has a hit song out called "Is It You," and he'd be perform- he'd be performing two songs. I'm really excited about that. Oh, I love it. Now, I'm going to tell you just as a fan, as you know, I was there opening night, uh, coin toss. Did I mention the coin toss that was amazing? Perhaps the best coin toss in the history of football. Uh, it went our way, you know. Uh, and, 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 and if I'm not mistaken, we won that toss, right? You're darn right. Gee, I wouldn't have it. Any, I mean, yeah, that's the way it was. Yes, yes, we won. And, 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 exactly. <laughs> won the toss, won the game, and that's what's uh, – Sparking us and swinging us into the uh, yeah into the <laughs> yeah we're headed be, because of the coin toss we are headed to the playoffs now listen I got to tell you something Greg Fernario joining us he's the owner of the Richmond Rough Riders that opening night was amazing the the team itself obviously just flawless out there uh, playing the game the uh, the Richmond Rough Riders cheerleaders the dance team absolutely on their game and I was really pleasantly surprised with the the selection of merchandise you guys have got some great stuff for the fans to get yeah no we do and uh and 
thankfully, uh, they, uh, you know, we ran out of a lot of stuff. Oh. So we, we definitely uh, reordered, and we're going to have a lot more stuff here for the 22nd. And we're adding replica football jerseys. We'll have about five different people's uh, players' replica jerseys out there. They're also this upcoming Saturday. I love so they it. They cannot buy them as well. I love it. I am going to have to get one of those white footballs. As I told you, uh, I was going to leave with one, but 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 the guys caught it you know, when I had it under my shirt, so I had to give it back. So uh, you know, but, you know, we, we all, you know, uh, we twenty balls went over the wall. So, yeah, uh, yeah, twenty opportunities to try to get one. So. <laughs> I, <laughs> I did. The, the problem was that the guys on the sidelines were counting, and they knew that the ball I had under my shirt was 21. And it was like, no, you got to give it back. So, <laughs> hey, so for folks. Uh, you know, there's, 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 there's balls aren't cheap, but, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun to see uh, uh, a young kid catch that ball and put a smile on his face. No question. Now, Greg, Saturday night at the Coliseum. So give us the details, the time. Tickets, all that good stuff. Because man, I want people out there cheering on the Rough Riders. Yeah, no, we 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 you know we really want everybody to support as we move forward here. You know, build the momentum, and hopefully we can uh, bring home a championship. So uh, this Saturday, doors open at six p.m. Mm-hmm. Game time is seven p.m. And um, as always, you can go to the Coliseum box office any day till five o'clock. Game day will be open later till like eight o'clock. Right. And go get your tickets. That's the best way to get it. Um, your tickets, there's no surcharge. But you can always also go to richmondroughriders.com for your convenience to then get them online through Ticketmaster. All right. I love it. Greg Fernario is the owner and the operator of the Richmond Rough Riders doing great, great work in action again this Saturday at the Richmond Coliseum. Jeff Katz, News Radio 1140, WRBA.